you ever wondered how to make a mixtape? Yeah, putting all your favourite music from a playlist onto one of these. <laughs> Look at that. See, it's trying to get out. If you've got one of these, and you want to make yourself a, a mixtape, that's the way to do it. All you need is a phone. Not an iPhone, but a phone that has got, well, you can have an old iPhone, but it's got to have it's got to have this on it. Let's have a look if I can find it on there. It's got to have, it's got to have that on it, which is a headphone socket. And then you go and just make yourself a mixtape. I'll show you how. Well, we're assuming you've got number one and number two. So now we need the lead. For our purposes, we need this plug here, which is a 3.5 millimeter stereo headphone type plug. And most cassette decks have these, which are called RCA plugs. So we need a 3.5 millimeter to RCA twin stereo lead. And as you can see, they're readily available from Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. And finally, you're going to need a tape to record all this on. So something like this, if it's got a good name on it, BASF or Bush even, or any of those sort of brands, you know you're doing okay. This tape's already been used as a mixtape, as you can see. This is one I got from a charity shop. It's a good tape, but I don't like it. The music's not my choice. The lead we'd need to connect that, which has got these on the back of it, to one of these. Then all you need to do is set up yourself a playlist. The sockets you need that clearly might line in, and you just plug them in as that is shown there, and the other end goes into the headphone socket. I found out my Spotify playlist for this, and you can see here, it's got 12 minutes worth of audio on it. Well, we know a C90's got 45 minutes of audio on each side, and a C60's got 30 minutes either side, so just pick yourself a playlist or make yourself a playlist with 30 minutes or 45 minutes on and then you can just plug it in, switch it on and off you go. So now we do is set your record levels, line everything up and press go. But this is a tip that you might not have realised. Before you actually put the tape in and press the record button, it's worth winding it on with your finger or with a big pen or something similar to actually get the tape to line up with that little felt pad there because otherwise they're all different lengths there's nothing more annoying than recording a 40 minute audio tape to find that you've actually missed the first few seconds of the first track because you didn't line up the tape so what I normally do is I wind up like that and put it in knowing that it's going to hold on it right from the very first get-go there's another interesting video here and catch you another time bye